Um, in, in cases of those who has uh, come to faith in Christ, but eventually left mm -hmm. the faith, uh, in light of um, Hebrew chapter 6.6, 6, you know, does it um, prevent us from telling them the gospel again or praying for their salvation or inviting them back to salvation or is it just, would we just uh, consider them to be dead? No, that's a very good question, Christian. When you have somebody who makes a profession of faith in Christ and then they abandon that, turn away from that, sh should we not then call them to Christ, call them to faith in Christ? Or should we just assume that they have violated the, basically what is laid out in Hebrews 6, that if they, if they reject, they can never be brought back to the point of salvation? That would be describing an apostate. And the answer is this. When you have someone who professes to be a Christian and who walks away from that, you would apply immediately the 18th chapter of Matthew and you would go to that person and you would call that person back to faith, back to obedience. You, this is the first step in discipline. If a, if, a, if a believer sins, you go to him, right? And that there might be a sin of unbelief that arises. You don't know if this is a true believer, so you go to him. And uh, if he still doesn't repent of that, let's say it's unbelief or the denial of the Lord. You, you would still exercise that same effort. You would then go with two or three witnesses to confirm that this is, an, this is a real denial of the faith, and you would still call that person back to faith. And if you tell the church and the church does the same thing and the person still does not respond, then the Scripture says you treat them like an unbeliever, you treat them like an outsider. So I, I think when, when someone who professes faith in Christ appears to turn away, wander away, um, defect, you don't want to assume that this is a permanent act of apostasy. You, you want to go through the process of calling that person back to fidelity and faithfulness to Christ, following up with the two or three witnesses and even all of the saints who know that person, calling that person back to faith in Christ. Um, and I think our Lord gives us an illustration of this in the 18th chapter of Matthew where He says the shepherd had a hundred sheep, right? And one of those sheep wanders away. What does the shepherd do? He leaves the ninety and nine and He goes after that sheep. Um, I, I've, I've had occasion in, in my life to do that uh, a number of times, to, to pursue someone who has walked away from the flock and might apparently be a, a false believer who w went out from us, as John says in 1 John, because he never was of us. Uh, but I don't know that. So I would follow what our Lord says. If, if I have a sheep who wanders away, I'm not going to say, well, good riddance, there's another apostate. I'm going to pursue that sheep and do everything I can to find that sheep, to tear him even so out of the, wo out of the wolf's mouth and bring him back. A shepherd did that. That was the picture of the shepherd. If a sheep wandered away uh, and a shepherd would go and find that sheep and bring it back to show to the owner of the sheep that he had tried to rescue that sheep, even if he couldn't do it, he would need to bring back a piece of the sheep sort of ripped out of the wolf's mouth to prove to the owner that he hadn't stolen the sheep. So I think the Lord wants us to go after those believers who wander away not to make an assumption about them. And after we've done all we can there, you know, we, we then may decide that this down the road becomes a permanent rejection of the gospel, and that goes into the category of apostasy. And Hebrews 6 says that if you have heard the truth and been exposed to the truth and had complete understanding of the truth and you turn away in a final act, then it's impossible to be renewed again to repentance. But only the Lord knows when that moment comes. I think for the rest of us, we pursue those people with love and, and try to call them back, okay? Great. Good question. Thank you so much.